Hi guys, I'm here to share another project with you. And so I'm in a altered dress form swap over in a Facebook group that I'm in called Shabashi Crafters. And this is actually our last swap for um, a couple months just to give everybody a break because it's been like nonstop. So after this, we're taking a break, I believe, until August. Um, so this is what I made for my partner, who is Jenny. Hey, Jenny. And I was glad to get her because she's actually a good friend of mine. So um, I'm going to pick up my camera because I can't get this all in a frame. So this is a dress form I made. This is just one of those paper mache dress forms. That's from Michaels. So the first thing I did was I painted it like a soft pink color. And then this material that you see, it's like a, um, what do you call it? Um, like a, shoot, I don't even know what it's called. Like a, not organza, it's more softer, like a mesh. And it has these like sparkles that's on it. And I had got this from Hobby Lobby and it was actually kind of expensive. But um, I didn't care because it was like super pretty. And I thought it would make a really cute dress for the dress form. So I kind of folded it and stuff and glued it to where it would take the shape of a dress for her. And then I added all these flowers on the side. And then for her waist, I have this lace right here. And this lace I got from Jazella, um, whose lavish lace is here on YouTube. Um, and she sent it to me in a swap that we did. So thank you, Jazella. And then around that, I just added this um, light pink mesh bling. And then, let's see. Sorry if it's so shaky. On the side, it looks like that. And I just added a ton of flowers. And I just sewed all of them. So um, it would kind of tone it down some. And then I added this really big pink acrylic flower. And just added a satin bow. Well, I made a bow out of some satin ribbon. And then on her back is a ton more tons more flowers and you can see there's some rhinestone bling so I just kind of wanted it cascading down and around her back <clears throat> so it looks like that and then let me turn her back around the bottom um, I glued her onto a glass candlestick and the bottom I just used a ton of flowers that I had and there is an acrylic pink butterfly right here and I just sewed over all these flowers too and there's like a crystal bobble here's another um, acrylic flower and another acrylic butterfly so as you can see there's just like a ton of stuff on here so um, that's the dress form that I made for Jenny I'll sh show you guys it one more time so it just looks like that. And I'm sorry my lighting's not very good right now. So that's the dress form. And then also, <coughs> excuse me, what I did for her was I made this box. And if you guys recall the um, video that I had done where there was that haul from a yard sale where I got like those five boxes for like a dollar, this box, believe it or not, was that ugly green one that someone had tried to decorate themselves. Um, I left the bottom undone so I could show you guys. I will go back and finish it up, of course. And it was that that box. And it had like the little like apple and schoolhouse um, wood things on the front. It took me forever to get those things off. And if you recall, the top had like some other stuff on it. And um, so I took all that off. And then what I did was I gessoed it and then ended up actually just covering the whole box with this um, London Market paper, which I love. Um, and it took me a while to like get it perfectly on the box. And of course, as you guys see, um, I covered it up and I used, um, I believe, two 12 by 12 papers total to cover it. So this piece that's on the front is also, you can kind of see through this, um, the butterfly. So... I just covered the whole thing with that and then on top of that I added this um, what is this called um, it's not crocheted but it's like kind of like that you know um, 
<clears throat> it was like a, I think it was part of a curtain that I had got in a swap a long time ago. And I just haven't used it. And then when I was working on this box, I was like, hmm, I think I might. So um, I actually was working on another project too that I used it on as well that I'll show you guys later. Um, so it took me a while, but I covered the whole box in this stuff like all the way around. <clears throat> and I did it on the bottom and then the top, the sides. And then at the bottom, I went around it with this um, braided trim. And then I added this like crochet lace right here. And then over that, I did these um, like iridescent um, pearl flower trim around this part. And I also added that right here. And then on the front, I just added these pearls. Um, these were just some pearl uh, bling sprays. And I cut up and kind of did my own design. And then I took these flat back pearls that are from my stash and just kind of added a few here and there to give it a, a little bit more like full effect, you know, like fill it in or whatever you want to call it. So that's the front. And the top looks like this. So I just added some more the pearl trim or the pearl sprays. And then over here, I just did a bunch of flowers and some pearl sprays. Um, there's some over here too. Right here, there's a um, right here and right here. There's little pink acrylic hearts, and these are mostly wild okra craft flowers. And um, this right here with this large gardenia, I actually had made like a big flower um, with pieces of the this that I. Um, had cut, made a big flower out of it, and then on the center of that I added this pink um, large gardenia flower, and then I, after that I sprayed everything with some Perfect Pearl spray to give it a little bit of shine, and so that's how that came out. So I'm going to be sending this to Jenny, this box, and the dress form, <clears throat> and of course some other stuff too, but I'm not going to share that part with you guys. So. Um, that's what I did, so I hope she likes it. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.